so guys welcome to my channel this is fashion star go in today's tutorial i'll teach you how to make an off shoulder stylish elegant puff sleeve so i already have a a video on how to cut the basic off shoulder blouse go to my channel and click the link and watch the video if you're not done so so I want to measure it now. I measure five inches. Then I'll connect it to the tip of this pattern paper, the five inches. So I'm going to get the the midpoint which is five and a half inches i'll connect it like a basic sleeve you don't know how to cut the basic sleeve go to my channel and watch how to cut the basic bodies you will see a basic sleeve so this is the basic sleeve face so you will come and get a measurement of your armpit to armpit level from here to this place from here to this other set and my own is 10 inches i'm going to add half inch to it or i'll make it six inches so i'm measuring five inches here I'll now connect it this way. I'm ruling a line. So from this five and a half inches, I'll connect it to the tip of this pattern paper here. Remember, it's an off shoulder pop sleeve. On off shoulder pop sleeve. I'll come down here by from this point. That I measure five and a half inches, I'll come down by one inch, it can come down by half inch. So I'll connect from this place to this five and a half inches this way. I'm connecting this way. Then I'm going to cut it off. If you don't understand how to cut an off shoulder sleeve, go to my channel. I have a video on it. There will be a link at the description box. You click from there. It's going to be a pop sleeve. The sleeve will be attached from here to the end. There will be elastic at the end of it. So I'm going to take the measurement of the pop sleeve. Remember, I folded this paper into two. So I measure 10 inches here, plus the other 10 inside. So it's going to be 20 inches. This is 20 inches, both back and front. So now, now, I'll time this 20 inches times four. So times four, I'll have 80 inches. While I'm making it, like that so that i'll be able to pleat it i can pleat it i can gather it i can do invented pleats i want this place to have a puff so how do i get the puff that is remaining now i have another pattern paper this way i have a pattern paper this way so i'll fold it into two and fold this into four. So I want to get the radius of it. So how do I get the radius? This is 80 inches. That is 20 times four is 80 inches. Then I'll divide it by 
6.28 for me to get the radius for me to cut the pop sleeve so i'll come this way i'll come like this and take the radius this is just for illustration i'll take five like this measure another five measure another five maybe another five that's my radius so i'll place it like this i'll place it this way then i'll measure it i'll measure the pop sleeve how many do i want how many inches so i'll now measure like 15 inches so that the puff can enter inside i measure 15 this way i measure 15 this way i measure 15 this way i measure 15 all around but here i'm using a small paper so it's just for illustration purpose this is six and a half this is six and a half is six and a half this is this this side will be like flare it's going to be flare so that the puff can puff it very well or it can gather very well so i cut it out this way you cut this into two you have two of this paper or a pattern or a fabric you cut it to this other one you cut it into two then there's going to be a band there will be a band at this end there will be a band so that band you measure it out this way this is 10 inches it's not constant this is the pattern paper the band will be folded into two and this is the downside of it first of all you open one end of this clay this is the off shoulder then you start gathering it either you gather it or you do inventive pleats pleats it like this pleats it this way pleats it this way or you pleats it this way you now run the gathers run it run it to the end of this place then sew it here this side is for here so this other end you now fold it pleat it you want to do pleat you want to gather you run a thread drag it drag it for it to be the size of this band you gather it this way or you pleat it for it to be the size of this band you secure it very well this is this other end then the band that you cut into two you make sure that you iron half inch or one inch inside this inside the ladders iron it in inside iron this side iron it like this this is how the band will look like when you place half inch or one inch inside Then you come to the center place place the band 
add this plate inside here add it inside in between the band put it inside then secure it this way secure it with the pin sew it to the end all these places will enter inside the band then you now attach it when you finish fold all of them into two then close it guys join it join all of them together from the beginning like this to the end it's very simple but it will be two pieces here two pieces here this one you will cut one but you fold it into two if you want to cut one one cut but you can do it this way so that it will be easier for you so it's very easy is when you finish you will see the puff coming out if you want to cut it straight like this you want to cut it straight you will not get enough puff this is the straight aspect of it straight pattern you will not get enough puff you can only get the puff from how i'm cutting it i hope it's very clear very simple so try out your own let us see how it goes. We have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not done so. Bye.